Now, as we've said before, the abdominal muscles are attached from here to here. The normal position of the body is here. So the abdominal muscle is going from here to here. Now what happens when you do a normal crunch or a lot of different exercises is to first do the exercise, you have to set the spine on the ground. So already we have shortened the abdominal muscles half their length. And half their length is enough to keep them from getting the look and the training that you want. So we start here. The abdominal muscles go from here. Remember, the abdominal muscles bend the spine. That's all they do. They bend the spine either one direction or the other. So we have to get something. So what we have to do is we have to keep the body in this position. We have a simple device here that we can put under the back that keeps the spine in this position. So now when we go to do a sit-up, we can put our hands across the chest. Now the abdominal muscles are attached here. Now when you come up, and you can come all the way up, you can work the abdominal muscles the way they're supposed to. Now, something else you have to keep in mind is when we have this out of here, take this out here, okay? The abdominal muscles are on, the, the back is on the ground. You only have one axis here. So when you come up, you can only work the center part of the abdominals. When we set the spine in the proper location, now what we can do is because of the length of the rig rod, or the spine. Now when we come up we have two axes, it's here and also here. This is the way to work lower abdominals and full range because now we have to work up here. We can come up, do a few reps, all the way up. So now you're stretching the abdominals out and you're bringing them together. But most important for women is when the axis shifts from here, which it never does in most exercises, to here you're working your lower abdominals. This is the, the key to training lower abdominals is this what we call axis shift. So whenever you do an abdominal exercise, you have to ask yourself, am I bending the spine through its full range of motion? Because on the same note as going the sit-ups, we can do the same thing from behind. Now we can take this and do the same exact thing here. Put your hands down here. Okay, now if you want to work lower abdominals from the bottom up, you can start from here and go up here. Go ahead. So again, now we're working the abdominals in their full range of motion. The exercise does not start down here. This is not abdominal work. The reason you feel this kind of exercise in your abdominals is because you're hanging your legs out here and the pressure is going on your abdominals. They're not working through their range of motion. So we can do this way. We can do the other way. These exercises we can twist here. There's a million, a lot of different ways we can do this kind of training. But again, keep in mind that when you work abdominal muscles, it's got to work through full range of motion. And the stuff you've been doing before in aerobics class when you're rocking and rolling and, and doing all kinds of momentum movements, it's just not working your abdominals. Thank you.